again, everybody. This is a video I did not think I was ever going to be filming this year, but we have another garden for this summer. While I was away on a girl's trip recently, my husband cleared out all the gunk left over from last year. The dead roots, the weeds, the leftover tomato cages. He cleared it all out, he tilled it, he put in new soil for me. So when I got back, I had a fresh, clean slate for a garden. So today we went out to the different plant farms and we got some plants. I did not do seed this year. I did one round of seed because I was, I'm a little late. It's already into June. So I'm gonna show you our garden and we can watch the progress again this year. If you haven't seen last year, we also did a garden and I documented all of that. It was in rough shape. We had not done a garden for several years at that point. So um, if you wanna check out that video, I will uh, link it up in the corner and uh, you can check out the progress that we had last year and we're gonna do it all over again. So here is our garden. I'll tell you what we planted and we can watch it grow this summer. So here's the progress so far. We have always had a pretty good success with sweet potatoes. So these are my uh, sweet potatoes started. That is what we have there. I have, I believe that's a butternut squash. I'm trying to space stuff out better this year. This section, we're gonna try something new this year. We're gonna do green beans. So I have pole beans set up for those trellises. There's seeds under there. And then I've got some bush beans here in the front. We'll see, I don't know. We've never done green beans before, but we're gonna try it and see what happens. And then a few tomatoes. We had way too many tomatoes last year. So I have these three tomatoes and I have three more left in my flat that I may find a place for or a pot for. But um, we have these three that are regular like sandwich tomatoes. And then I do have a pot with cherry tomatoes. And then we have our cantaloupe, just one, just to see because we're also doing a watermelon. I, these things vine and so I just wanted to get a couple and leave room for them to grow and space out. So that's what we have so far. Let me show you what I put up on the deck in pots. Here we have more sweet potatoes. This is the same bucket they were in last year. So uh, we'll go with that. This is our lone jalapeno. We had a very prolific jalapeno last year, so I don't think we need more than one. One seems good enough, and it looks like it's already got some flowers trying to start, so that's good. This guy is an avocado. This is an avocado that I have grew from an actual avocado that we bought, and I put the pit in water last year, put it in the windowsill, and then it put it in a bigger pot once it kind of sprouted. And so it's been growing inside for the winter. It's uh, looking a little sad. I don't know if it'll turn back around, but I put it outside now that it's sunny out and warm. So perhaps we will continue to grow this avocado. And this little guy is our cherry tomato. So that's what we got going. I've got enough tomato cages this year. Last year I ran out. So I thought I would scale back in a few ways. So we're gonna try some different stuff. Let's see how long it takes to get some veggies. All right, here's a quick update on the garden. It's been about a week since we put everything in. And we have finally started to get some beans. We got beans, bean sprouts. They are just popping up. Look, you can still see the seed on that one. He may not make it. I wonder if he was eaten. We got more. We got some beans. And then this, this front row is supposed to be bush beans. And then back there along the trellis line are pole beans. Never grown green beans before, but that's what we've got going. And everything else, we had a nice steady rain yesterday and everything else is kind of perked up. So that was nice. And I've also got my orange peels in there, which I was told keep the pests away and the bugs, so it seemed to work pretty well last year. So we're doing it again every time we open a cutie. Just put the peels out here. <laughs> That's the update, we've got some beans, yay. Well, it is late-ish, mid to late June. It is June 22nd. And I thought I'd give you a quick little uh, garden update. We had these few little straggly potato plants that I didn't think I had room for in the big in-ground garden. So they lived in their little pots for a couple of weeks. And they were getting pretty sad, so I finally found some containers. 
My sister had these extra ones. I think they're actually meant for potatoes, but they'll hold dirt. So we are going to plant what's left of these potato, uh, these tomatoes in them and see if anything happens and giving them a good water. Just got them planted. She also gave me some strawberry plants that I'm going to try to keep alive in some baskets on the porch. I did not choose strawberry plants, but, uh, Marin and I actually went strawberry picking at the local orchard and that was kind of fun. So why not? She didn't have room for the strawberries. So we're going to try to grow strawberries too. All right. So here we have a little hodgepodge. This one is cantaloupe, I believe. That's a butternut squash. I kind of squeezed in there because he was about to die too. I didn't have a perfect spot for him, but we're going to see if that works. And that's a watermelon. I know lots of vining things, but hopefully they can kind of overflow out the edges. These are my three tomatoes. They seem to be doing pretty good. We got some flowers started and my beans. I've had some uh, pests. I think some maybe uh, rabbits or squirrels. So they're not perfect rows anymore. We've lost a couple, but we've got our beans starting to grow. So that's fun. This is a butternut squash. This is maybe the best thing that's happening right now. He's very happy and full and growing. And then my sweet potatoes are down here. Some of them looked kind of sad, but I think they have revived. So that's good. We'll give them a good water and I'll take you up on the porch and show you all of the containers that we're doing. Up here on the porch, we actually have our first success story, a little jalapeno. He's growing. This is my avocado and he is very sad but I think he's doing better since I repotted him. He's actually growing a little bit, so I hope that's a good sign. I don't know. It's in a bigger pot than it was, but I know it's not perfect. But we are suburban farming, so I don't have endless fields. And these are my sweet potatoes. They're looking okay. So here's my... Here's my first pot of strawberries. This one actually has a fruit on it, so that's fun. I don't know, I've never done strawberries before. This one actually has a little a little plant and a flower, so that's positive. I don't know, check back and see if we get any real strawberries. We might get like four or five all season. Who knows? This is our progress. We've had about a month, maybe a slightly less than a month of growing. If you have any tips for strawberries or if you have any tips for saving my avocado, I would love to hear them down in the comments. Please let me know. We are back with another check-in on the garden. It is July 2nd. We have had some pretty intense rainstorms over the last three or four days. So we've gotten a lot of good water here in the garden, but a lot of things have taken off. This is one butternut squash plant. The leaves are huge. I'm gonna have to learn how to do this correctly because there are no flowers yet. So that's kind of not great. There's a few little green buds down there, but no yellow flowers yet. But look, our green beans have finally started to climb. Yay. These are our tomato plants. Look, there's some little green tomatoes in there. Yay. Finally got some tomatoes. Cool. And Oh man, something's been eating at the sweet potatoes. But we need to weed again. But this is our garden thus far. Look, we finally got baby green beans. I was just looking up how long it would take. These are our bush beans and I finally see actual beans. It is a mess in here. We are fighting for space with our mammoth butternut squash. But yay, the green beans are coming in. Woohoo! Now I think we finally have fruit on every plant. Definitely got the squash going. Tons in there. And now we have green beans. That's fun. I hope they get bigger. Here is another garden check-in. It is late July, 2023, and our garden is taking over. 
We finally have a nearly red tomato down there. He's, she's kind of orange. But they're coming along. The butternut squash have just gone gangbusters. They are all over the place. So that's successful. We've got our green beans. And uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good. Tomatoes are going. I've had to put up this uh, fence so that the lawn care people do not keep inadvertently going over the edges of my overgrown squash vines. But uh, I found this little guy. He uh, He's supposed to be a watermelon. I don't know that he's ever gonna turn into a big one, but uh, that one little bud there. Otherwise the watermelon have not decided to produce that I can tell. I did find, now that could be watermelon, but I think it's cantaloupe, but I don't know. But I found that him back there, so there's one. The other thing I found, I don't know if he's still here. Last year we, had, we were overrun with garden spiders. Oh, yep, there he is. He's the first one I've seen. Oh. Look, I see a bud on the pole beans. Hopefully that means we're gonna get pole beans soon. We do have a few more jalapenos coming along slowly but surely. This round of uh, sweet potatoes is still very small, but the ones in the ground are vining out and getting bigger. I think I am gonna call this the end of part one of our garden series for the summer. And I think we will start part two with the harvest. So it looks like we're gonna be getting some tomatoes pretty soon, some green beans pretty soon. Um, I think the squash need a little bit longer. Anyway, thanks for watching this part. Tune in for part two in a little bit when we finally get some actual veggies off the plant. But this was part one of the start of our garden and most of it the growing season and then hopefully soon we'll do the harvest. So thanks for watching. Of course, be sure you hit like and subscribe. This is just another one of the topics that we cover in our random family <laughs> vlog series. So um, tune in as always. We have a lot of family travels, a lot of RV content, Disney content. So you never know what you're going to get. But this is our garden series. We did our garden last year. You can check out those videos as well. And uh, we'll see you real soon for part two. Bye.